Hello, hello, hello. You're turning into the episode of The Wonder Kid Show. Today's second topic. I'm tired of the excuses. Look, I find, and I, and I truly do find, the Joe Burrow excuse train to be absolutely hilarious. And I do mean hilarious. The reason why I find it to be hilarious is not so much because even if Joe Burrow was hurt, which I believe he's good enough to play, he's just playing like hot garbage right now, is that when you were comparing Joe Burrow and someone like a Lamar Jackson, right, or any of the other guys, because this is funny to me, you a lot of these guys specifically said he's a pocket passer. He doesn't need his legs to be successful. Lamar is dependent on his legs. If anything happens to his legs, he's no longer the player that we thought he would get. This man has a calf injury. We've seen him running up the side of a mountain or side of a, a, a hill. Not a mountain, but the side of a hill. We've seen him jogging and everything else. And they're making every single excuse for the man saying that he can't even walk on the field. Because he can't stand in the pocket and make the throw. But that's what y'all, that's what y'all, you know, peddled. That's what you paraded. That's what you guys bet everything on that, you know, he's a pocket passer. The closest thing that Tom Brady we've seen since Tom Brady. It's not like he has a torn Achilles or ripped ACL, MCL, nothing like that. Nothing like that. No ligament damage, nothing. He drops back, sack, or he can't get the ball away. So his leg is affecting his arm. <laughs> it's affecting his accuracy. Isn't it funny how things change? Now, look, I already told everybody, I don't wish injury on no player. None. But I, it is kind of funny to watch the differences on how they're graded. Because think about it. It has to be funny to y'all, right? The excuses that are being made. I'm going to play y'all a clip from first take. Dan Arlowski, um, saying that the, the, the calf thing is so real. And I'm going to break it down, then we're going to talk about it, okay? So without further ado, let's play this and keep it going. Don't panic. Get to the bye week. That's the reality. They got Arizona and Seattle left. Here, here's the, the, the calf injury is a very real thing because they have no way of playing anything but catch the ball in the shotgun, get it out of your hands, football, because Joe's calf hinders everything they can move. do. And Shannon, you're you playing the offensive line is fair, but they can't do anything to help and or protect the offensive line. That's the problem. I don't believe this offensive line is bad, is as bad as it's played because they're not able to do anything to help them. They got to find a way in the next two weeks to win the football games. I don't care what it takes. We called their game Monday Night Football two weeks ago, and they found a way. If they do that and get to the bye week, then they could put Joe a little bit more under center, then they could run some play action, because here's the most jarring thing. They have four explosive passes. Four. Mm -hmm. And four games. Right. It's not because they can't throw. It's because they can't use play action from under center because of the calf. Yeah. Don't panic yet. They Listen. The way that they're making this calf thing says that he can't walk. I've seen video of this man jogging. Jogging. You're telling me he can't hold the ball out, pull it in, and, and then throw? It Listen, it's nasty at this point. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Joe Burrow's game is predicated on the, kick, the quick passing game anyway. That's what it's predicated on. When it's almost like you start throwing quick, and when they bite on that, you hit them with double moves and you start throwing deep. That's their whole offense. It's been like that. They acting like we don't know nothing. I always ask for transparency. You notice how we never get transparency, no matter what we do? We never get any transparency. Why is that? Why? All I ask is for our team to be gauged the same way as these other teams are gauged, but they can't do it. Seriously, tell me, listen, if you're watching this right now, tell me right now one person that's holding Joe Burrow truly accountable for his horrific play. 
Baker was hurt. Y'all remember? The year after he took the Cleveland Browns into the playoffs and won a game. He played injured, and they got rid of him. Lamar, they said he's injury prone. So they said about Lamar, say he's injury prone, and he's only as good as his legs make him. That's it. He's not a pocket passer like Joe, though. You know what the problem with Joe Burrow is? And a lot of people don't seem to recognize this, and I've said this multiple times. Joe Burrow hasn't left college. This is the first season that Joe Burrow played. He didn't get really get to really get to get through it because he got injured, broke his leg. But it's been college for him because he's always got to play with amazing talent on both sides of the ball. Amazing talent. It's just it's like, bro, my guys are more talented than yours. We'll out talent you. That's the biggest things with the biggest programs in college. Because at the end of the day, no matter how sound you might be, they could just out-talent you. And that's what Joe Burrow's got to do for the last two years, out-talent people. And the Ravens have been injury-prone. The Ravens are still injury-prone. But I don't see the, the, the excuses. Where's the excuses for the Ravens? I remember the uh, uh, Bengal fans were saying, oh, it's not our fault you guys is hurt. We're playing who's out there. This man, this man doesn't have a torn ligament. He has a calf strain. Calf strain. Now, I don't know if you guys have, I've had a calf strain before. I tore my Achilles. I had an inch and a half separation, and it never came from a calf strain. Never. Matter of fact, I wasn't even hurt when it happened. I just tore my Achilles. It just ruptured, full rupture, inch and a half separation. This man's calf hurts, and they're saying that he's so, he's not even walking with a limp. He's jogging and stuff off the field. Jogging. You think you think quarterbacks are running full speed? Handing off the ball for play action and stuff like that. And everyone's going to say, well, that's his foot that he used to drive the ball off of. He drives flat-footed. Have you ever watched this tape? <laughs> it's just funny to me. Like, they don't hold this man accountable for nothing. This is what I say when the truth has to hit you in your face. Now, look, the Bengals can come back and have an amazing season. They can come back and win the next nine or two games and be in the playoffs. Let's be real. They can, they can very well do that. They can very well do that. They're what? One in three? At four games right there, 13 more games to go. Let's say they go 11 and two in that span. Playoffs. So I'm not counting them. Listen, I said they weren't going to make the playoffs, but I'm not saying they're totally out of it yet. But if they lose another two, three games, oh, yeah, they're cooked. They're cooked. But it's Joe Burrow's fault. Joe Burrow's fault. We've seen guys have to play through injuries, and they don't get none of this uh, love. That Joe, Joe Burrow right now is the lowest-rated QB in the entire NFL, an NFL that has Zach Wilson, an NFL that has Desmond Ritter. Y'all know this, right? They're in the same NFL. And they don't get these uh, 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 the excuses. I wonder what the next excuse they're going to make next is. Tell me if I'm lying, guys. Because, I listen, I, I, I had to laugh about that, man. Because it's like, bro, like, y'all, like, every time he plays, the week before when he was playing good, he had a good game. Oh, he's back. That's what happened. You just give him a little time, and Joe Burrow comes right, and then he loses again. Oh, it's his leg. He needs help. Give him a sensu beam. Put him in a hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbolic chamber. Goku. <laughs> Dragon Balls, make a wish for his help, please. It really is funny. That's how they're acting. But what do you guys think? Do you guys agree? 
with the pass that Joe Burrow is getting throughout his horrific play? And do you guys think the hole that they're in, if the Bengals are going to make the playoffs, let me know down in the comment section, please, because I kind of find it funny. I truly do. <laughs> and that's an episode of the Wonder King Show! <laughs> Thank you for watching. And all we get down, we have fun, we laugh, and everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Before we go any further, before we go any further, I want to say a big thank you to Adidas. Not Adidas the shoe. There is somebody that follows uh, me, uh, uh, the channel, and he sent a donation of one hundred dollars. My brother, I want to say thank you. And look, for everyone that has donated, I really never want this to go without saying, I know how hard it is to earn a dollar out there. And you guys are donating to this channel to help it grow, to help with equipment, all that stuff. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Thank you for entrusting your hard-earned money and investing it into The Wonderkin Show. This show would not be anywhere without you guys. And I want to make sure y'all know that. So thank you guys for being great, amazing, magical, and we're going to keep this thing going. And we're going to build an absolute media empire from the Wonderkin show that you guys can trust and have integrity and values in. I promise y'all that. Because the integrity and values are not going to change. They are not. They are not wavering. So thank you so much. And man, like I said, man, <laughs> God bless. Once again, this is the Wonderkin show. Um, if you would like to donate, to the channel bottom of the screen qr code qr codes to a cash app cash app located in the description of every video that we do in the name of it is money sign the wonderkin show super easy and check out the wonderkin show's patreon yes three tiers of, of content goodness ready for your consumption so give it a look let me know what you think all right but once again this is the wonderkin show the show's actor signing off and as always you know my slogan peace and i am out of here hmm. you're